Hey guys, welcome to kit number six. And in today's episode, we are going to make a system that allows you to have an array or a plethora of items to choose from for food sources that you'd like to have dispensed to you. Now this system is gonna dispense 15 items at a time to you as a food source, depending on which button you click for your delicious appetite to be satisfied with, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, Sirens from the Far Side server wanted this, so I said, hey, I'll make it for today's kid episode. So, everybody, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let me give you a quick demo of what this is going to do when we're all said and done. So, when you hit the button here, want, I want pork chops, so it's going to give me 15 pork chops. And so that's what this design, design does. It allows you to have an array of items that you want to get, and then you can get those items as food sources or whatever item you want. So let's get to building this thing. We have a little area here. We need a 3x3 three three area that's too deep for the clock that comes out of the dispenser. And then we have a uh, from the back of the dispenser an 8x10 by, by this would be, I would assume, 12 area. And this needs to go 10 blocks high from the ground. So let's get rid of these green blocks like always. Boop, 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 boop. So one thing about this design this design has a pretty repeatable pattern for for the dispenser clock so i'm just going to show you this first design of how to do the dis um the hopper clocks and then after that i'm going to i'll do the repeatable design and then i'll show you guys the wiring i'll step with you guys the wiring how to activate each timer clock and then how to get each timer clocked to activate the specific um, item that you want to dispense out of here. So let's start. Let's start off with just our first design. So we're gonna have a row of blocks coming out here like so, and we want repeaters coming out of each one of those, so that we can grab the signal. And then we want we're gonna have a row of blocks coming across here. Now we're not gonna necessarily uh, use those all, but we'll put them there. I think we end up using them all. And then we're gonna have a redstone dust off this first one so whatever item we're gonna have bread come out this first one we want a block here a comparator going into this block hoppers going into each other I've sh we've, we've done this before you guys like them put a comparator coming out a block right there redstone redstone oh no redstone there sticky piston from where this is going in and uh, non sticky on the other side then we have a redstone block here and the way that I have this doing it, since it's dispensing 15 items each, we're going to put a stack of 8 in there. And from there, then we want a redstone comparator coming out this this one, that the side that the non-sticky pistons on, the regular pistons. We want a uh, comparator coming out of there, and then that goes into a repeater. Then that repeater goes into a block, which has a torch on it. And then those are going to go into... A repeater with redstone right there so now let's do the part where we actually put the items into the dispenser and decide which one is gonna get gonna get the item so we want to put a uh, row of dis uh, hoppers coming out of the dispenser that follow each other a trail so that items can travel down it and then in each of these we want to put hoppers going into them and then from there we want to put cascading chests so you can put a regular chest and a regular chest and then a, a uh, trap chest oh we want we want this to face out and then we put a trap chest and a trap chest right there so if we put let's say 64 bread in there right it's gonna stay in there and then once this we can simulate this with the button press right and then we push that button to, to activate that block we get items that are gonna be dispensed over here so there should be 15 bread that end up getting dispensed Perfect. And that is what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat this hopper timer system. And I will show you guys the end result. So we got the cascading done of this. So for each one of these, you're going to need a two wide by six deep area. And going from this bottom one, the way this works then, because we need spacing for different redstone components that we have coming on here and with the wiring that we have coming off here, we need to go from the block that the 
repeater goes into, you need to go one block. So it's it's block one space block one space sort of deal. So get rid of that block. So now let's start the wiring. So if we right if we hit this button, put bread in here, we're gonna get fifteen or fifteen. I should say fifteen bread will come into here because we haven't got that clock set up yet. So now we want to have the pork chop. Uh, portion of the redstone happens. So the way we achieve that is from here, this will be the pork chop one. So this line right here, we have get activated, and then we just simply take that redstone up. So that's that's gonna activate that. So if we put the if we had pork chops in here, we can see this is gonna activate that, and that would send out the redstone signal. Now these last two are a little bit different. We're gonna have some redstone torch mechanisms going up so what we want to do here is we put repeaters down here like so and then we have blocks coming out of these repeaters and then we're gonna have redstone torches block block uh, redstone torches and then this one right here we're gonna go block redstone torch block redstone torch so this one is gonna be for this one this one's gonna be for this one so we take this line right here then and we simply get it up there which this is <laughs> it's exactly how we're gonna do it so it's come up come up come up and come up so that's there so if we hit that one that's gonna activate which will activate this portion which is responsible for the stake same here we come across and we just want to meet these lines up and that's all we need to do so then now if this buttons press chicken we get chicken so now we'll work on the other wiring side so we're going to go ahead and do each one of these separately. So if we look at this, we want, for this one, we want a comparator coming out of here. We're going to have comparators coming out for the most part on all of them. And then we want that to go into a block, actually. And then off that block, we're going to have redstone torch. And then below that, we're going to have uh, a block. So this, what this will be responsible for, then, is we want to get a signal to here, right there, right? So what we're going to do, then, is block. And we're going to just run a redstone signal a redstone signal down from there now oh we got lines intersecting what do we do put a block there so that's gonna pop that will power that and so that when we press a button here for the pork chops that line will deactivate which will allow the items that are in there to go into the dispenser okay so now we're gonna start with the third tier so if we go here we're gonna put a comparator coming out of there block here again and then a redstone torch now this one starts to get a little bit more complicated so we're gonna take this redstone torch and we're gonna power this line line of redstone here and then we're going to want to go down one more because we want to get to this line this level and then we're gonna take that then and we're gonna go down one more to power this block right here this pot block gets powered and then we're gonna do our whole thing that we like to do of of repeaters going into blocks to power so there we go repeater goes into there which powers that we want to power that redstone block which then we're gonna take that signal go right there and then redstone into a repeater which is gonna hold that now same thing here we're crossing put a block so that we don't cross so that's what handles the third tier so now when we hit the third tier which is stakes it's gonna turn off this line which is going to in return allow items to dispense out of that that chest into the, the dispenser so now we're on our fourth and final tier so again we're gonna get a comparator coming out and we're gonna go up like so and then off of here there's gonna be a redstone torch same thing so now we're gonna take this redstone and we're gonna take it down a little bit so one two steps down so we need to we're getting it out and across a line with that and so then we're going to take this redstone and then we're going to come down a couple more so one two two three three more there we go <laughs> just just keep breaking the blocks so then we're going to do our infamous we like repeaters going into blocks for some reason and that's what we're going to do so repeater going into this block which goes into this redstone powers that redstone from there same thing then we're going to grab out that redstone see and the reason why we have to use these repeaters is so and repeater right there and this repeater sort of right here is obviously to grab the redstone out but also we do this design so that our wires don't cross so then we're going to keep going with it repeat our redstone dust repeater will go in there which will then power this block right here 
which we want to actually put a repeater right there, which goes into a block that right here will get powered. And then we have two repeaters right here because we need two repeaters so that those lines don't don't intersect with each other. So you can either do it that way or you could, I mean, I guess we don't, we don't need that because that's not getting powered. <laughs> so you could do that way or you could put a repeater right here repeater right here block right here and that's how we're gonna do it because that's how we just like to do things so that is the completed design for that redstone let's do the clock now so when we look at this clock this is how we're gonna do it we want a comparator coming out here so that we know when items are in there which we're gonna take those out so it doesn't get annoying and that's gonna go into a block now that block is gonna have a redstone torch right there but we also want a repeater coming off here to complete the clock cycle. So that's going to complete the clock cycle, but now we need it to dispense items. So we want to take out those and we're going to highlight that and put a repeater right there so that it can activate this block right there. And we're going to put a redstone torch under there. So now it's deactivated with the knock gate so that it doesn't sit here and it doesn't sit here and hold up items in there. So now we should have a fully completed design. So if we put six, 64 in there, pork chops and then steak and then chicken what would you what what would you guys like to eat oh we're a gourmet restaurant so this is good thing about this too it's all flush with the wall right so it's just you can hide it all in a room or whatnot so we i feel like some chicken today so let's get some chicken <laughs> nice timely manner nice timely manner it's going it's going it's going it's going and we got our 15 chicken now if you don't want your redstone torch to burn out you can extend these to two each like so so that that doesn't happen now let's get some bread you know I always like bread with my uh, with my food so as we can see this line gets deactivated which is allowing items to flow out of the chest and into there which makes us get it here and now we have also we got our 15 bread so <laughs> let's uh Let's go through and uh, try to explain this a little bit. So this is going to be an interesting explanation because there is so much going on here. And I'm going to kind of take you through the process of, of why I had to go and make it so massive. So at least in my head, someone might say, dude, you could have done this way easier. Um, but my thought on this was when I hit this button, right, how am I going to let this system right here know that it wants to make a release on this only this one and not any of these other ones well the only way I can think about doing that is for each input you have to have a a separate sub circuit that will take care of of deactivating this line of repeaters so that is what we had to do we each one of these is going to be considered a sub circuit going up here going each tier of this so we obviously I'm going to just take you through uh, probably this this chicken one because it's the most complicated. So when we hit this button, right, we hit the button, this line gets activated. What happens when this line gets activated? It sends a little, so this, because this is a bunch of knock gates, right? So this deactivates, this activates, deactivates, activates. When we hit the button, activates this line, which activates this uh, repeater. Now, as I've explained this in the past, once this repeater is activated, this this is acting as I, I think it's acting as a bud switch from a little bit of stuff I did today and messed up with. That this is acting as a bud switch to this uh, piston right here. So when you put an extra activation to this, it activates this uh, piston, pushes it over, which starts this hopper timer. Now, when this gets pushed over, this redstone starts to act, starts to transfer here so once this starts to transfer this becomes active when this becomes active we have another knock gate that this knock gate starts to come down here which when that this is activated this gets deactivated deactivates all of this just not all not all this redstone but just this line of redstone right here so this block, 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 which deactivates this. When this gets deactivated, then 
this the hold that is being placed on this item hopper being able to accept items is taken off so when that gets taken off items are allowed to dispense through there so that and that's how all of these work the same exact thing not gates coming out here and same here not gate right there that de get deactivated that allows the hold on each respective hopper to then allow items to be dispensed through it which then allows it to dispense items down to the bottom row which comes over to this uh dispenser now once we get to the dispenser we just have a simple clock right now one thing that i had to take into consideration here is we had to have this redstone torch be deactivated by default because if it was activated it would activate this block which would then power this block because and if this block was powered it wouldn't dispense items into the dispenser or, or drop items into the dispenser so we had to not gate it right so that's what happens here this re this comparator powers this block which then creates a clock but it also deactivates this on each clock cycle which then deactivates this which then allows this torch to activate and then on every clock cycle it activates and deactivates so let me show you guys right every clock cycle it activates deactivates which then allows an update to happen to this torch and when an update happens to a torch when it's around a or when an update happens to any block when it's around a dispenser then it shoots out the item so I hope you guys enjoyed this this was a great project uh, this is for my friend Sirens from the far side server he was like hey cluster how you know how can how can we do this so this is for him so I thank you guys for watching dream big